Hi guys, it's Aegis here. So today I'm here with another uh, standard that co-found. This time I'll be covering one of the token run blue uh, right lines. So this time I'm covering uh, Mikatsuki deck. So this is a actually a new deck that come out in uh, TB07. So instead of being a very good supporter, now uh, Mikatsuki decided to actually become a vanguard and fight. Um, the fighting style is actually quite like the previous Kiyomizu with uh, some extra gimmicks to make the deck super super strong but while also being super super aggro. Uh, unfortunately this deck isn't like the top of the Togan Rambu, it's actually the updated Kiyomizu. Uh, that one that we'll be also covering as well because uh, I think this one is a lot easier to actually explain so I put it first and then I will also be doing Kiyomisu uh, in the later stage where I will show you like my build like this one that I'm showing my build um, that will be a little bit different to uh, the versions that is topping for a few reasons one is uh, I don't have every single copy of the card I especially for set one I only bought like a few boxes and then get some singles and it's really really hard to get singles in Hong Kong and secondly is that uh, I tune it to deal with some problems that I think will happen uh, which I will explain when I talk about the parts then you will get to see so let's go over the deck profile first uh, right line is all of the uh, Gusky of course um, so what the run line does, zero just draw you a card. Uh, one when two round on top, you can actually look at the top two cards of the deck. You can choose uh, up to one grade two or below units called the real regard circle and put the remaining card or cards to uh, the top of the deck or to the bottom of the deck. So you get to fill your board freely just by writing and at the same time if both of them are triggers you can plan for the, the triggers that you're going to attack and also plan the triggers that you want to use as defensive so you kind of have a safe turn and the moment when you see the over trigger on top you will be so happy uh, because uh, compared to Kiyomisu that you can only look at one now you can actually look at two so this is a very very strong move if you really can go aggressive and then with the grade two that um, is if you are going to a grade 3 if you basically your right line is this you don't need to ditch your card to use a right deck so uh, you save another card from your hand to bring your grade 3 now um, let's also talk about what the grade 3 does so first skill is a permanent skill that during your turn if standing regards are 3 or more you will get 5k and, uh, and a critical so you can simply swing for 18 to crit early game even because it didn't uh, state any kind of like restrictions on grades or whatever so you can just apply as long as you go aggro during your uh, early turns when you go to grade 3 it's just like if they are on free damage they would need to start guard heavily because uh, if you just pull a crit out of nowhere you will win right so um, this is very very strong but there is also a weak point with this uh, skill is that you always need to have free regard standing so no matter what you will need to fill your board with a lot of regards right because if you have free that means you can only use two to attack one unboosted and try to use the first skill which is uh, when this card attacks a group of higher vanguard you can discard two cards to stand two of your regards right but you need to attack it, uh, your opponent Great Hill Vanguard so if you are riding Great Hill first this skill is not going to active so in order to keep the first skill to get the 5k and a crit you need to swing with this card first so be careful about that uh, other than that I think it's quite easy to actually pull it off and it also got a another skill which is an active skill by Soul Blasting 1 you can look at the top 2 cards of the deck um, and then you can call up to one and put the remaining cards as you like on top of bottom 
So if you see two triggers, just put them back to the top. That's fine. If you see two units, uh, you can actually uh, call one of them to your uh, regard circle and then just have fun, right? So uh, this, again, helps you fill the board uh, so that you can make your skill a lot easier. But this uh, takes a lot of soul while we use a lot of different combo pieces to make it very like crazy. So uh, do be careful in soul usage and since I always get prepared if I can't personalize so you will see some parts that actually help out. Right. So I put it here. Now um, the key card of the deck is actually even to Toga Rambu in this great one order, the training place. So this uh, you can see a lot of text right here, but the skill is actually quite simple. So first is a limitations that you can only use the uh, training place once per turn. So no matter how many copies you, you have, you can only activate one of them. Right? So do be careful, don't do it like more than one time per turn. And then the second part is that how the training place actually works is you put a card that is not heal trigger, not over trigger to the bottom of the deck as a cost. By doing that, you review your deck until you meet the number of normal units equals to the number of training plays you have on your set order field. So if you have one, then you will just flip until you meet one normal unit. If you have two, then you can just keep opening until you see two. The more you get, the more you get to uh, keep reviewing the deck. And then, from there you have to call one uh, normal unit. So if you unluckily uh, only have one and uh, flip a PG, you need to call it, you don't have a choice. If you pull your Gravery, you need to call it out, you don't have a choice. So the more you have, meaning uh, you will get the pieces that you actually want a lot easier. So um, if you see this card in your opening hand, make sure you keep it because it's so important. And while your opponents might try to just try to hit your regards, you can just send them back. Or any any card that you use for your right deck except over trigger or heal, you can send them back immediately to uh, exchange into a card on the board. Um, but the card you call will need to be uh, in rest mode first, and if the card that you call is matching your Vanguard grades, then it can stand. Uh, by matching, I mean um, the same or lower. So if you are on grade one, if you call a grade two or grade three, it will stay rested. If you call, uh, if your your Vanguard is grade three, basically you can call anything from the deck. That is a normal unit. And um, for each other normal unit that you actually flipped, you will get 5k for the unit that you call. So again, the more you get, meaning you get more buffs. Because this first one won't get you any buff. This will get you 5k, this will get you 10k, this will get you 15k. Because it's guaranteed you will just flip until you see that much normal unit, unless you really don't have that much, then, well, that's <laughs> too bad. But normally that won't be the case because you will keep rotating your cards even though most of them will be triggers that you send back but sometimes you will still need your key parts then you will just need to do it okay uh, so I think I explained this card and again it's very important to make sure you keep it in your point again and then more personal right because we need to use soul and personal right is actually very important in this build um, and we, you will see it like the reason very very soon and then I'm running four of the Kokitsune Maru uh, Kiwami. So this is the key card that you must have four. Uh, if you can't afford this, you can actually can't afford to play the deck, unfortunately. Uh, I, I was thinking of like playing like two or three, but after like a few te play testing, four is needed. You get simply two skills. First one, is a permanent skill to your permanent regard circle that this unit cannot be uh, targeted by opponent card effects so they can't retire it, they can't lock it, they can't uh, bind it they can't bounce it back to your hand what they can do is just like uh, 
doing a non-selection effect that like a board wipe uh, attack all front row all this kind of thing else uh, you will stay strong and then it also get another skill that when your uh, when you need to discard a card for your vanguard cost in, instead of discarding two cards you can just discard one to become two so for your vanguard effects you can just simply just dish one card instead of dish two to stand two units which is very important uh, to save your resources make sure you uh, can also protect yourself while being very strong to do your plays right because sometimes you only have one card in hand and if this is on the field you will be saved because uh, your resetting skill needs to be on attack so it's before your drive uh, drive checking you need to do it you need to discard two cards first before you drive check so this is actually very helpful and you also get the Shinken Hisats which is uh, just simply plus 10k as a permanent skill so it's also protect himself during your opponent's turn uh, being a 20k body is not that easy to get wiped and even if you want to save it it's less resources and then I'm running one of the uh, Shishiro Kiwami uh, I don't see anyone running this card but I find this card actually quite fun to play with so I use it so when this card appears on a radar circle if your opponent is great or higher during the turn you will get plus 5k and if the turn you have personal right that you call this unit you can kind of blast one, search your deck for a set order, and refer to it, add to your hand, and shuffle your deck. So it's a backup plan, while you try to personal right, and you might not have enough training places, then you squeeze your deck for another card. Right? So, uh, this also thin your deck, make sure you uh, meet triggers a lot easier, but most of the time he's only 8k, so do be careful on that. But other than that, I think uh, it's actually a fun piece to use. But it really relies you to do personal rides, so you can simply just use it at the right cost uh, and then just put it back with your training place so you, you can use him a little bit later. Uh, and then I'm running two of this uh, Akashikuni, Akashikuni Yuki. Uh, so this is the new uh, double rare from the set that. Um, have a very uh, simple skill that uh, in the left regular circle that I actually miss uh, when I do the playtesting I just realized that uh, once per turn if this card is standing out of stand phase you can still plus 1, draw 1 and plus 10k so it's basically get stand by this you get to draw 1 and plus 10k for a soul blast but He's more useful during a uh, during a personal right turn because his first thing is only ten if you don't personal right. Unless you call it with this, then maybe you get some boost. And then two of the Mikasuki from the first set, first sets, uh, because he get to look at the top card, he might be able to resend. Because uh, when your opponent see you are to do playing Token Rambu, they probably won't give you 5. If they do, then you can just simply swing hard to them. Just simply do it. But this card is still a very key card, uh, still a very helpful card as a generic um, support card. But unfortunately, that I only can find 2 copies. That's all I have, so I just chuck them in. And then I'm uh, playing three of the Sudumaru. Uh, so this is also from uh, the first Token Rambu set that uh, also relies you to personal right because he is a tanky body. Even when he attacks a hanger, uh, attacks while your opponent's on Great Field Heart, uh, doesn't have to be attacking Vanguard can also be attacking Regard, Color Blast, Soul Blast One, and switch places on the same column. So you get to do more than five attacks including uh, these two resents you can use like one switch two three four with vanguard and stand two to do six normally you do five you can do six and if you also including him like this then you can just swing for one switch that's two we stand 
three, four, then I got five, six, and seven. So maximum you can do is seven attacks. That is uh, like the ultimate combo slash that you can do with this deck, I think, so far. Uh, and then depending if you put any uh, triggers that make you a lot stronger, the opponents will suffer a lot to just keep guarding for seven attacks, especially when they are four or even like fifth damage, right? If they have five, you just have an attack, you probably can just win. If you can't, then your opponents will probably use up all the resources unless they are like uh, very, 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 very defensive with like 20 guards in hand, then oh, okay, okay, right? But this card's um, how aggro this deck is, uh, you, your opponent probably won't be able to keep that much. And then uh, three of this uh, Hu Huga, Mu uh, I think it's Huga. So this is also from my previous set that um, when it appears on Vanguard Circle, if your Vanguard is great for your higher, you can look at the top card, put it on top, a ball, just as simple. Because uh, you sometimes you do this first, then you can actually see your future because you don't always have the soul blast to uh, look at top two so yeah more cards being able to see for uh, see for the future the better at, at least that's what i think and then two of him uh mono yoshi so this is also the new card from the set um so you get a Shinken Hisat skill that on Regard Circle or Guardian Circle that this card will uh, get intercept, can intercept on the back row and on top K shield. So it's a 10k shield. Basically, you can uh, use him to block very freely. It's uh, kind of a backup plan that if you are lacking shields, then you can use him, right? But most of the time, you can use him to rush and just ditch him so they can return with your training place and then i'm bringing uh two of this tall shiro so he has on place skill that you rest him then you can put um uh, two of the tall shiro or goko tai to uh your salt from drop zone so this is uh, a card that i use to try to uh, kind of covering up when I don't have enough souls um, because my triggers increase those names so it's actually quite easy to put two cards in soul then you immediately use them because these two are really used to souls this is another one so uh, your soul usage is actually quite fast so instead of using like some other cards that kind of relying on personal right um, like these ones, worst case, they don't actually need to rely on personal right, it's just for the power. So, something can actually help turn things around. Uh, and this card also is a card that actually helps turning things around. Because, uh, worst of the worst, you can actually swing your Vanguard first, and then just rely them to resend themselves. This is also something that works. And then uh, four PGs, just because they are PGs. If you want to use the uh, Blitz Auto PG, feel free to use that. Uh, I don't have any like specific preference on that, so up to you. Now the triggers. First, uh, the Seven Star Sword. So it's a new over trigger, and it's actually so helpful. Uh, the extra effects you can choose anyone, which is first. Uh, choose your vanguard, get plus one crit, plus one drive. Or you can actually choose to give your one of your rearguard drive check and plus one crit. So this is just so good for a token rumble deck. While you are rushing your opponents, usually when we are playing like other decks, when we are like afraid of over trigger, is that when your vanguard attacks, or when your opponent's vanguard attacks you, you want to guard that first, 
so that uh, the 100 million will go to somewhere else but they don't gain drive right not a lot of cards they actually can gain drive and uh, sometimes you will just do like one to two pass and then that 100 million goes in and then the rest is so easy to guard right but now with this it's just like my vanguard goes in if you don't guard I put the 100 million to my regard I gain one drive to my vanguard and plus one crit to my vanguard and he's already attacking for 2 damage and you're attacking for 3 damage and you are gaining one drive and you can immediately use that drive for the turn immediately because it's just plus one or if your opponents just like PG that because they are afraid of the crit you just put 100 million drive check crit to another regard then they need to find you in an RPG because it's a hundred million attack with drive check and that drive check can actually bring you to something else so this is actually very very strong over trigger I think um, if this card actually gets to any of the usual standard clans I can't imagine how how crazy things will be. For example, uh, if this Overtrigger can actually get into Sogar, imagine a Prison Dragon with 2 crit plus another crit, like a 3 crit, 100 million with Chain Drive. Well, <laughs> that would be crazy. Or like Bastion with so many great frees on board. You switch the drive check, uh, even though your uh, Cater OT will also do that, but this gains a crit so it's another mind blown thing uh, and like a lot of things can actually make crazy things happen so this is very good OT and then uh, Soaring Crit we have waited it for so long and then uh, this Toshiro so you can just uh, put him in uh, effect draws and then another Toshiro so you can just put uh, these two you can just simply put them in uh, into your soul from the drop zone uh, which is actually quite easy to happen yeah so that's basically how the deck list is um, something that while well, I try to play test and I actually make mistakes one of them is this that needs to be on the left uh, probably just play it somewhere else sometimes which is uh, something unfortunate but uh, still didn't like make him not useful it just means that I need to play cards on my board a lot more careful that's basically it um, and then it's just like these ones when they look at stuff they can only call one so do be careful on that uh, during my early playtesting I actually like got a lot of times I might have called two units but you can only call one so do be careful about that uh, but other than that, this deck is just, uh, I won't say it is straightforward because every single game, what you see will be different, but it's a little bit easy to get bored because what you do is basically the same thing every single time. Uh, if you go first, they will swing first, you can't withstand, and then starting after that, you just do at least 5 attacks every single turn, maybe 6, maybe 7, depending, depending on what you have and then just keep returning cards keep bashing and rush right off the start to the end yeah so i think that's basically it for this deck profile if you have any questions feel free to ask me um, in the comments down below like this video if you like this uh, deck profile share with your friends um, subscribe for more deck profiles I have more deck profiles coming in I still have like DVD 11 decks to keep covering, uh, but I watched this release from uh, WGB Deluxe Season 2, so uh, like I just need to check all those videos and get those done in two weeks so that it's already up so you can check them out, which means I still have a lot of DVD 11 deck profiles and uh, some Togarambu deck profiles also to cover, but that's some fun things happening, a lot of playtesting so you see also see deck fights, see unboxings, 
pause all the things. Uh, yeah, so I think that's it for me today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Signing off.